So lately I've been obsessed with tie dyeing. It's so much fun, it's therapeutic, but it does take a lot of time. Key thing is when you're tie dyeing is preparation. You wanna make sure your area is ready to dye clothing in. So I've got several pieces here that I'm gonna show you and my first design is gonna be the twisty, twirly design and I'm gonna do it rainbow colors. Once you've done your twisting of your clothing, you want to then support it with elastic bands because you don't want your design to unravel in the middle of dyeing. I do apologise, I didn't show you how to do the dyeing itself because the dye was getting everywhere. But basically you want to just dye the areas that you want dyeing. Once you've done that, you want to leave the dye on for about three hours. I left it on for three hours anyway, but if you want a pale sort of colour like a pastel, then maybe less or maybe more, depending on how bright. Once you've done that, you want to then hose your designs off until basically there is no more dye left on it. You want to hose it until the water is crystal clear again. It can take a while, but it's worth it for the finished product. So for this first one, I did it for my dad. It's the Rainbow 12, I'm really happy with it. Um, the second one is a oversized hoodie for me, I'm loving it. And this one is for my little niece. This next one is a crumpled design for my mum. And this last one is another one for me, a 12 from the corner of the t-shirt. Once you've done that, you want to let them air dry for a while and then pop them in for a short wash with not too much washing powder. And there you have it, your design.